Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised of this. I'm like open to a phone call, says Daisy Ridley, who is desperate to return to Star Wars despite the franchise screwing her career, claims she needs employment. No shit. Now, obviously, I don't blame her for the entire destruction of Star Wars, but she was definitely the face of it. I mean, since her last, well, her last bit of work, which was The Rise of Skywalker, which would be the last Star Wars movie. I mean, with her saying, like, uh, like crap like this, I could see why it would, it would be hard for her to get work. I don't buy the Mary Sue thing anyway. I found the, I find, I find the term sexist in itself. Okay. Because it's Mary Sue. I don't think there's a thing called Ryan Craig. <laughs> I think called Ryan Craig. Now forget the fact that she's stronger than Anakin Skywalker, than Luke Skywalker, or the fact that she takes their name even though she's not related to to them. She's Palpatine's. I think it's his granddaughter or some crap. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've seen those terrible movies. But those movies did lead to the destruction of Star Wars. Ridley rose to fame as her role as Rey, one of the most prominent female characters in Star Wars sequel trilogy. I consider Princess Leia to have more of a prominent female character, even though she was barely in those movies, and then she died. After 2019 Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, there has been no follow-up to the narrative, because nobody cares about that narrative. Nobody cares about the sequel trilogy. That's, that's why they keep going back into the prequel era, into the High Republic, into the OT. The actress is taking this opportunity to tell the studio she's willing to come back. Please, please take me back. I, I, I'm, I'm unemployed for the past four years. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, I'm open to a phone call. I'm looking for employment. Oh, this quote's funny. The thing that springs to mind is in The Force Awakens with Harrison Ford, little known actor. He gave me the gun. I say something like, I can take care of myself or something. I was so nervous that when he was doing it, I was like, oh my God, it's Harrison Ford. So I was so proud that I got through the thing and seemed fairly casual. What a quote. Oh, by the way, uh, during all of uh, this sequel trilogy stuff, the Kathleen Kennedy of Lucasfilm decided to do this which was the force is female screw men screw the fans you know we don't need you a couple years later there's there hasn't been a single star wars movie because uh disney believes that it won't do well now the only thing uh star wars has is the mandalorian which i think is kind of subpar at best uh people love baby yoda i think it's dumb people like ahsoka who made one appearance people liked boba fett who made an appearance who then had the Boba Fett show, the book of Boba Fett, which was a deconstruction of Boba Fett because uh, halfway through the sh through its season, they brought Mandalorian in, who did all the stuff that Boba Fett used to do so that they could prop up Disney's version of Boba Fett and deconstruct the original trilogies of Boba Fett. They also used it as, as an excuse so that Mando could get uh, Baby Yoda again, which means when people watch season three of Mandalorian, they'll be lost to wonder how he got Baby Yoda back because at the end of season two, he gives him to Luke because after firing Gina Carano, they have no idea what they're doing. And then we get to what I consider to be the final nail in the coffin for many, the complete deconstruction, destruction of the prequels, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show featuring Reva, baby, Leia, and a hopeless Obi-Wan getting led around by the nose by a child. How can we forget about the gate in the desert where instead of just walking around it or driving around it, he got out and was messing with it <laughs> in the middle of a desert? Or how about the part where, uh, they're, where they're walking through an Imperial base and besides Obi-Wan looking like a hobo, under his coat is Princess Leia and it looks so obnoxious. And of course, one of the worst moments, well for me personally, because uh, the fact that this never happened ever, was Obi-Wan meeting Anakin slash Darth Vader again in between the prequels in the original trilogy, which never happened. It's an absolute disaster. Still pisses me off. I was so pissed watching this show. Oh, and Andor, which I keep forgetting exists, which is about a character nobody cares about, 
The show itself is a prequel to a prequel that uh, no one watched, but it's considered to be the best thing they've that uh, Disney Star Wars has done. But again, nobody watched it. I didn't watch it. I heard it was boring. Again, there are no fans. So all the characters survive imminent death against Palpatine, the start of her own Jedi Order would be an awful. This sets up an opportunity for, for Ridley to reprise her role. The Disney Plus world is exploring more ways to expand the narrative, except nothing to do with the sequel trilogy or her Jedi Order. Just face facts. Apathy has set in. Nobody cares about Rey, the sequel sequel trilogy or the narrative of it going forward. You've destroyed everything that was Star Wars and most people don't care and what fans you have left because of Mandalorian, I guess enjoy them because eventually they will go. Thanks for watching.